my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my author tube uh, series. The first one was about tips to get started and what's needed and to like keep going. And the second one is the balance of trends versus your passion. This we talked a lot about in the Rycom Cons uh, author tube panel. So I wanted to touch on it here as well because it's so interesting. I love hearing people's stories and especially if like we're all in author tube together, like how you're doing, what do you want to be doing, how your journey has been, where you hope to go. Um, so many times I've wanted to just quit and give up. Um, it became a thing that was like a low priority. I wasn't gaining any traction. Um, I wasn't liking what I was doing. And I don't know why Preptober and NaNoWriMo like always kick me into gear. And then you hit the end of the year and the new year and you just keep going. And like this part of the year, I always am super motivated for. But I wanted to talk about how much it sucks to want comments and likes and um, subscribers and like trying to hustle for that. I hustled so hard in the beginning with like three videos a week and it was burnout, man. And then I like did one a month or maybe I skipped some time. Like I came back, I'm trying to do one a week now. Yeah, I got, I got tired and then I did a bunch of tags because that was like the easiest thing and I was losing my passion. I wasn't even like trying to grow though. I wasn't looking at my analytics. I wasn't looking at what videos were doing well. I wasn't looking at what topics people were searching for so that I could make a similar topic. Um, author Brittany Wang does some great videos. I think maybe some other people do too about those analytics. I think she saw it from Sunny Leonard Doozy. I'm going to say that I'm so wrong. I forgot what her name was, but anyway. Um, she does deep dives and a few other people do about looking at your analytics and seeing what's hot so you can like jump on that and make your uh, video explode. But like, I've never cared to do that as much as I want comments and likes and subscribers. So I was like in a lose-lose situation, but it's fine. <laughs> That's where your passion comes in. So um, I did start my channel for documenting my journey. I wanted to share about my book and characters and I wanted to grow a reader base. That's why I started. When I got into it and I learned you could monetize, I was like, ooh, that's cool. And then I saw how you, like, what it took to monetize, and I was like, dang, I will never get there. So that's not something I'm trying to do anymore. But if you have the time and you want to monetize and that's your, like, goal, then look up all that analytical stuff and hustle for it. You're going to want to make those videos, those vlogs. You're going to want to title them a certain way, use hashtags, uh, promote your videos across your social media channels, um, grow a community, do all these things. I think like YouTube now has like memberships or whatever and it's kind of like how Patreon has tiers and now YouTubers can have like uh, groupies basically. <laughs> At a certain point in your videos you can start adding ads into your videos which help you make money. Maybe that's when you're monetizing. I don't really know how all that works because I'm not there, so you'll have to watch someone else's video. But you're also, like, if you're watching videos as well, you will see certain trends. Like, everyone hopped on the AuthorTube tea. Everyone hopped on, is AuthorTube dying? Everyone hopped on this or that or this. And some people have, like, mimicked other people as well. Like, I tried writing, like, blank. I also found that, like, Preptober and Nano videos are really well received, especially, like, the year of. But people will find you, find your videos in other years, too, if you have, like, a specific title in there. And I'm always amazed because when my videos first come out, they don't have a lot of views. And then I'll look at, like, my popular videos, and I think one actually has a thousand views don't quote me but like I was like well what when did this happen like I literally never look at my analytics um, but I was like okay well people like that video or maybe they don't like it and they just watch part of it I don't even look you can also look in your analytics for like where they skip around how long they lasted through your video um, but like if I don't have likes or comments I don't know that anyone cares about that video until I go into like creator studio or whatever and then yeah in the panel we also talked about if you lost your passion for whatever you were originally talking about or whatever your niche initially was about how you can pivot from that 
and kind of rebrand. And you can even just semi rebrand, like slide it over, or you can do a total overhaul. Or like I had to private a bunch of my old videos because they had a different name. I've changed my name since then and I'm um, remaking them now and I haven't redone a lot of those videos. I was like, I don't want to share those again. Um, I don't want to be so open about my projects, like yada yada. And um, I have pivoted, I was gonna do like mom writer and I was like, that wasn't really working and I didn't wanna show my kid on camera. And so then I pivoted to like romance because I was like, oh, I'm gonna write young adult and adult romance. Um, even though I also want to write middle grade maybe, but like, I was like, I'll focus on romance and so I'll niche this down and like, if I run out of video topics for that idea, maybe I'll pivot to something else. Um, but it's, it's whatever you like, whatever you're into, do not be afraid to mix it up. A lot of that author tube is dying was about people being burnt out on their topics about whatever and then, um, finding uh, topics and ideas that they wanted to talk about. So yes, they're still doing what the viewers want about vlogs and writing tips and whatever, but now they're also showing you how they're living, what their side business is, their creative side, like whatever else. And if you have already been their viewer, you're gonna follow them because you like them. So really just kind of build up your viewership and you know you can even say like hey my channel is gonna be about this now <laughs> and just kind of like roll with it like don't be pigeonholed don't feel stuck you can move find your passion again if you do get caught up in trends and you're stressing yourself out and have anxiety like let it go if you want more of that pile it on your plate. Um, really, this channel is yours to do with what you want. No one knows what's going on behind the scenes. Take down videos, uh, put up videos, but don't like make them live. Do live videos, um, switch up your topics, like feel it out, man. Feel out what looks good to you, what feels good to you, what's doing well, if you care about that. Um, don't stress. Remember this is supposed to be fun, <laughs> not a job, unless you monetize and make it a job. Um, but we're all just here to have a community of writers and authors who love books and love writing books. So keep that in mind. Find that balance that's going to make you happy and not give up. Or if you want to give up, that's cool too. Um, but yeah, this video is about balance in trends versus your passion. So find where that happy medium is. Find what you care about and enjoy it. This is coming from a small author tuber who has not made any progress in her subscriber count and I'm still finding videos that I love to make whether people want to watch them or not. So just do you. Do what makes you happy. I will see y'all in the next video for uh, the benefits of an author tube channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.